If you've gone through puberty and feel like you didn't experience a growth spurt, well, my friend, it's time to ask yourself the question, is it possible to grow taller after puberty? The answer is yes. It is possible to experience grow taller after puberty, although the process is slower and can vary from person to person. During adolescence, bones grow by stretching the growth plates at the ends of the long bones. After puberty, these plates close, but there is still room for growth in other areas. Muscle development, posture, and overall health can all affect the perception of height. To increase height naturally after puberty, focus on aspects that stimulate bone growth and posture. The age at which height can be influenced can be up to 25 years, as bones continue to remodel. Growth plates, also known as epitheses, are areas at the ends of long bones where growth occurs. During puberty, growth hormones stimulate these plates, but they gradually close. However, it is important to maintain healthy bones and cartilage. A proper diet rich in calcium, vitamin D, and protein is essential. Exercise, especially that promotes stretching and strengthening, also helps. Maintaining proper posture helps maximize height potential. Although growth may be slower, a healthy lifestyle can positively influence natural height gain. But what other factors affect growth? Sometimes consistent exercise is not the only factor in growth, and as fanciful as it sounds, sleep makes you grow. The relationship between sleep and the release of growth hormone plays a critical role in growth and development. The highest release of this hormone occurs during the deepest stages of sleep, especially during REM, rapid eye movement, sleep. During this time, the body undergoes cellular regeneration, and growth and tissue repair take place. Growth hormone is essential for muscle development and bone elongation. Ensuring quality sleep and adequate rest is fundamental to optimizing the production of this hormone. Maintaining healthy sleep habits, such as a consistent routine and a conducive sleep environment, goes a long way toward maximizing the potential for natural growth after puberty. But if height is most important to you, you should know that your posture plays a fundamental role. In other words, if you slouch all the time, you will appear shorter. You're also not allowing your spine to stretch and develop as it should. This means that poor posture, especially slouching with the head forward, can affect spinal growth in several ways. First, it can compress the discs, reducing the space between the vertebrae and affecting height. In addition, poor posture can compromise the proper alignment of the spine, affecting bone and muscle development. Overall, maintaining proper posture is critical for healthy bone growth and preventing spinal compression. You may be tall and not know it. Let me give you a routine that will help with this issue. First, I want to make it clear that you don't need any equipment to do this exercise, so you can't use the typical excuse that you can't go to the gym. You should know that these are back techniques, so if you have any back problems, it's better to consult an expert first. That said, let's get started, back rotation. 1. Get all four limbs on the floor. 2. Move your hips backward, lowering them to your heels. 3. Place one hand on your neck, lower your elbow to the floor, and rotate upward, alternating sides. This exercise improves rotation in the middle of the back. Back stretch. 1. Lie face down with feet hip width apart. 2. Lift upper body using muscles in center of back and the hand. This exercise strengthens and stretches the back muscles. This posture is also called cobra in yoga. Shoulder movement. 1. Use a band or towel and hold it above your head. 2. Separate your hands to create tension and make a circular motion bringing the band above and behind your back. 3. Avoid arching your lower back and keep your torso firm. This exercise helps to relax the shoulders and strengthen the back muscles. Neck strengthening. 1. Sit in a chair and tilt your chin backward, keeping your head straight. 2. In the final position, add a chin exercise to strengthen the muscles under the chin. This exercise helps correct forward head posture. Another exercise you can do is hanging. I have uploaded the full video about hanging on my channel, so you can go check it out if you haven't. Remember to perform each exercise for one minute at a time in a calm manner, focusing on the quality of the movements. After doing these exercises for two months, you may notice improvements in your posture such as a straighter back and less hunched shoulders. You may also experience increased flexibility in your back and a general sense of relief from stiffness. 
Some people have reported a slight increase in height and a reduction in the feeling of compression in the spine. This routine has worked perfectly for me. The best part is that you can do it anywhere. For example, if you're at the office and have a short break, you can do the neck correction. The same goes for all the others, so you can easily do it at home. But now it's your turn, no excuses, take a picture now, follow the routine and take another one after trying. Comment down below on how you feel after trying these exercises.